Hi guys, welcome back to our video this week and thank you to all the new subscribers we have. <laughs> you happy about that, Lil? <laughs> um, in today's video, we're going to show you the progress we've been making on the bust, which includes um, fixing up the passenger side wheel arch at the back, installing our freshwater tank structure at the back of the bus as well, along with some welding that we've had done for the gas tank, which is going to be underslung, and diesel heater, which is also going to be underslung. So that's what's coming up. Any words of encouragement or tips, please leave them in the comments below. Um, as always, thank you so much for your support and we really hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Getting straight into it, this is what the driver's side wheel arch looked like. So less holes than the passenger side. This is the second arch that's been cut out. Obviously it's cross terrific, but I don't think, one of the famous last words, it is as bad as the other side. So hopefully this one will be a little bit more straightforward. Top down view, you can see that actually the outer arch is a little bit crusty and the lip needs to be rebuilt. So Luke started to grind that back. Unfortunately, he found that this wheel arch was pretty well rotten and it was covered in quite a thick layer of filler from um, the repairs that were done previously. So, yeah, he bashed it all out with a hammer and left us with some nice big holes. So, the repairs were made by Luke. He stitch welded in a plate and then seam wired all of that up. So it was good, all good metal. And then we had a lip here that we could fill to. But before I did that, I painted it with some red oxide high zinc paint. Okay, so today I've um, had a look at the front wheel arch, taken off the mud flap, uh, made a big hole, which I'll show you in a minute. I've also cleaned back the wheel arch ready for welding and treated it with Genolite, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, I've cleaned out the bus from all the loose sort of metal and shards I could do just to stop that oxidizing in the moist, moisture that's in the air and changed around uh, a little catch on the back door to hold the back door on. And I've drilled out the tank support hangers as well. Nearly broke my wrist doing so. So let me just show you that stuff. A bit of a rust hole in behind the mud flap here. It goes inside. So remove these and the rusty old brackets um, and see what again up against it here. And then... Oh, yes. Hopefully, this is all good. Down here is going to require some work. Oh dear. Okay, so this is our front wheel arch. So it's going to need some repairs. Oh dear. We'll be bringing you updates on how we fix this rust and the arch in future videos. But for today, just wanted to show you actually what we fixed. On a positive note, we have made good progress in the back arch. So this the purple stuff on here is called Genolite. Um, so I've cleaned all of that back with a wire wheel and flat disc. And then the stuff that I've got left over, that I, well, that you can't see really, I painted it with that Genolite and it's gone purple because that's where it's treated any remaining rust. Um, so I can now paint over that. Okay, so I've painted all the front here and rust encapsulator now and the seat frames. Um, so they're ready for chassis paint. Once we finish everything else, um, we've also cleaned and painted the bottom half of that. And I've trial fitted the water tank, which is now in. Um, I will have to take it back out tomorrow so we can weld those 
uh, securely in place. Over here, that's where the gas tank's going to go. And over here, I've just marked up. Obviously, it's going to go underneath, but that is where the diesel heat is going to go. Over here, hanging in that little box. Our build so far really has been about prep. And this week, we're looking at how we can install our tank structures. So we can show you how we're going to install those in future updates. Okay, so the water tank is in at the back here. A uh, few things to tidy up, but that's roughly where it's going to go. So we've got it bolted in on the main um, bus rails here. And they're going to be welded both sides uh, so it's nice and strong. And then what I'm going to do also, and going around down side and back underneath is just have straps um, a couple running from front to back and around just to keep it nice and strong um, but this isn't going anywhere as it is so with those on there um, should be sturdy so Luke did come back and finished welding up that wheel arch which allowed me to then fill the outside um, sand it back, fill it, sand it back until I had a nice smooth surface to prime. And this is how we've left it for the time being, ready to be painted in the near future when the weather clears up. Well, so at the front here, so you can see the space that we've got throughout the bus. The front here, this is where our passenger seats are going to go for the girls. So we're going to have two seats here that are out of a Ford Conair Custom. This is where our wastewater tank's going to go. So frame's just been tacked in there for now. Um, we'll be properly welded in next week. Um, the wheel latches were rotten through, so they've been completely replaced. Uh, we've lowered them ever so slightly, but we have checked that the wheels are not going to foul, even, even if they were to ride up and hit the bump stops. There shouldn't be any way under normal driving conditions that that would cause an issue so we're pretty happy with those now they're level um which is really good so moving just to the back here just traversing the older uh, frame um you can see that we've got the structure in here for the water tank uh, which is bolted and welded in over here we put some new beams in for the diesel heater to hang on um, and over here, just tacked in at the moment, we have a structure for the gas bottle to go in there. So we've got a um, 40 litre tank going in there from Gasset. I've marked out where the holes need to be for the feet of the gas tank. Um, so in my case, it's uh, 19 centimetres width ways and 50 centimetres length ways. So I've checked it um, from left to right, back to front, and then diagonally, so I know that it's square. So I'm going to drill it through now with uh, progressively larger drill bits. And then we can see and check that it fits before welding this frame in place. So I'll make sure, make sure it's strengthened. So that's the holes drilled, they're all square on the bar. Uh, this bar could have done with being a, a little bit further this way. But we can make do this to plenty of room there. So this was it dry fitted, I was really happy with it. Uninstalled it, ready to be welded up um, to make it super strong with some extra buttons on that next weekend. So it's the Sunday after Christmas um, and I'm out here. Like yesterday there was a huge storm. Um, but today it's beautifully sunny, so I've come out today to do a job that I've been putting off because it's been so cold and wet, which is starting to paint the chassis uh, with the chassis paint and the skirts. So I'm just going to show you those. So I don't know if you remember, but 
this is what we're up to. Um, all of these chassis rails are painted in rust encapsulator, but they're all very dirty again. So I'm gonna spend the first bit part of the day just uh, cleaning all of those down, ready for the chassis in one paint. So the, the seat box is out at the front uh, and this is already painted as well. Um, but obviously it needs a clean up before I can do that. The paint that I've used on the chassis, a little bit of a spoiler here, um, it's called Chassis of One by a company called Buzzweld. Um, I'm not affiliated with them at all, but I've been really so impressed with their products that uh, I just wanted to call out that this is what we use. So we use the rust encapsulator underneath, that's the red stuff, it looks like red oxide. Very high zinc content. Um, first of all, so it means if, if it does get scratched, then any corrosion or rust that might happen is, is kept to one place. And it's the same story with this chassis in one. So it provides a nice matte black finish, um, dries nice and quickly, and it doesn't smell as bad as the rust encapsulator that I showed you in our previous video. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get on to how it looked before and after we use this paint. Before I show you the end result, I just want to remind you of our previous videos and how the floor looked. So we had to needle gun all of the rough rust off, grind it back, treat it with gelinite, and then we undercoated it with rust encapsulator. Um, and then the final step was to paint. So I put together a little montage of before and after pictures, just so you can see how we got to this stage. So here's wheel arch, we're going to spray this up with chassis one in a minute. Um, this is the before. So what I've done is sprayed on the chassis in one all under here and then sealed all in here. And this is ready to be waxed. But you can see it's pretty thick, um, all nice and protected. And that brings us to the end of this week's video. It's taken us a lot of um, elbow grease, as you can tell from our previous videos, to get to this point. And a lot of weekends work because we are only doing it part time. Um, but we know we have been threatening it, but we are hoping that in our next video, we are actually going to get the floor in, aren't we? And yeah. that will mean Lily will be able to help a lot more as well because she won't be falling down any holes. <laughs> yeah. Will you? No. That'd be good, won't it? <laughs> Don't want to fall in any holes. No. Um, again, thank you so much for watching, guys, and for all new subscribers. We're so happy that we've now got over 100. It seems to have gone really quick. So thank you, everyone, for supporting us. Yeah, it means a lot. The next week's video, we probably will have the floor in, but back out again, if I'm being honest, because we really want to show you how we're going to install our diesel heater at the back. So a little bit of a sneak peek here of some video that we've taken recently of the install. I'm just going to be showing you how we've done that and how we finished it up. So again, thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe and see you soon.